Streets in the sky, two blocks of flats that are identical in design, but potentially behave very differently in the event of fire. Building A has basic structural fire safety provisions, but a number of important issues have been ignored or overlooked in the fire risk assessment. On the other hand, Building B has a number of important safety and security enhancements, which combine to lessen the potential impact of a fire in the building. The performance of these two buildings will become evident as we follow the action of fire crews called to a fire. In response to a report of fire in a high-rise block of flats, a fire service will typically send three fire engines and often an aerial ladder appliance. With any fire call, speed is of the essence and vital time can be wasted if the fire engines are not able to gain access onto the estate, get near the affected building or gain access to water supplies from a hydrant. At Building A, abandoned and badly parked vehicles prevent the first pumping appliance from being positioned near to the dry rising main inlet. The pump operator will have to lay out more hose and might have difficulty connecting to the dry riser. This might delay the supply of water to the affected floor to fight the fire. Likewise, the aerial vehicle has had difficulty in parking near the building, so it will not be readily available for use if it's needed. At Building B, the girder barrier gate lock system is in place. This means the fire and rescue service gains immediate access through the unique girder master key which they carry. This locking system has been designed so that the key cannot be retrieved until the gate is closed and locked by the residents or designated contractors, thereby ensuring that the gate is not left open and the area is managed. Once the building has been reached, the incident commander must immediately size up the incident detail. What floor is the fire on? The layout of building for stairwells and lifts. How close is the affected flat to the lift or the stairs? How many floors are in the building? Does it have dry or wet risers? Are the dwellings flats or masonettes? What is the internal layout? Are there gas supplies to the building? In Building A, there is no one to meet the incident commander and no information at hand to refer to. So, the incident commander has to rely on information being radioed back by his first crew, who act as a reconnaissance team. It might take some time before the full situation becomes clear. In Building B, however, there is a recognised focal point, the Gerda Premises Information Box System, or PIB. With the PIB, the attending fire crews gain immediate access to the vital premises plans and information they require. The PIB is accessed with the unique Gerda master key carried by the Fire and Rescue Service. The plans are put together following guidelines in the Emergency Response Pack Guidance Manual, which is supplied with each PIB. These are passed to the Incident Commander. The location of the fire has been identified on floor 12. In building A, unfortunately, the dry riser mains have been damaged on floors 10 and 11. Their copper heads have scrap value and this building has suffered repeated thefts of the copper. Consequently, the dry riser outlets have been secured with chains. Again, vital time is lost whilst cutting equipment is brought in to remove the heavy chains. In Building B, a program of refurbishment was undertaken as it is a legal requirement to maintain the dry riser mains in good working order. Girder dry riser cabinets were installed to secure this important equipment which is accessible to the fire and rescue service through the unique Girder master key. In a high rise building there are two options for vertical access, the lift and the stairways. In Building A, the lifts have been closed off owing to constant breakdown. The machinery in the lift motor room is regularly damaged, despite the locks to the room being changed on almost a weekly basis. Owing to this ongoing repair cost, the lifts are out of bounds. This therefore poses a problem to the incident commander as the attack on the fire will be that much slower. In Building B, the lift motor room was secured with the same type of locking system for all its service rooms the Gerda H system. The building manager knows the H system keys cannot be cut at a locksmith's or heel bar and therefore authorised access only is allowed. So he doesn't have to worry about mounting repair costs and in an incident the fire and rescue service carrying the unique Gerda master key can gain immediate access to any service room. 
If the lifts are not operational, then the fire crews must use the stairways to access the fire floor. How well the fire door sets perform may have a bearing on the firefighting operation. The fire door sets protecting a staircase in a high-rise building are a vital fire safety feature. If one door fails and allows smoke into the staircase, the whole building can be affected as the stairs will become impassable for anyone trying to leave and the fire crews will need to use breathing apparatus from the moment they enter the building. The fire doors in building A are old and worn and in a generally poor condition. There are gaps between the doors and frames. Vandals have repeatedly broken door closers. Maintenance budgets were exhausted long ago and so much of the damage now goes unrepaired. Fire resisting glazing has been broken and replaced with ordinary glass. Some doors bang loudly when they close, so residents have wedged them open. In short, the doors need replacing, but the housing provider, worried about cost, has decided to patch up the old ones. A few bits of replacement intumescent strip and a jobbing carpenter will sort it, surely. Building B, however, identified during the fire risk assessment that its fire doors were in poor condition and undertook a program of fire safety works to replace door sets. The Gerda FDS range of fire door sets they installed are tested and certified to BS 476 Part 22 as a complete door set, i.e. the door leaf, frame, glazing, door closer, hinges, intumescent seals and photoluminescent signage. The door sets importantly incorporate features to combat vandalism and misuse. This in turn assists with the maintenance budget. A complete, sustainable fire safety solution is in place. In the lobby area of four residential flats, Building A has, in line with its fire risk assessment, upgraded existing front entrance doors with intumescent seals. It's not known how they will react as the doors have not been tested as a complete unit with the intumescence and other parts. Meanwhile, many tenants in the block, fearful of their safety, have installed additional external grill gates to keep out would-be burglars and muggers. The same gates are going to slow down the fire crews if they need to get into the flat to deal with the fire. Unfortunately, smoke is spreading into the flat. Building B, however, had looked at the security of the front entrance door set for inner city high-rise buildings together with the problems facing its particular environment and took the decision to incorporate fire safety at the same time. So they specified the Gerda Capital door set range to reduce ongoing maintenance costs. The Capital door set, an FD30S, secured by design door set, has a three-in-one door system where the inner or outer leaf of the door can be replaced if required instead of the whole door offering a long-term sustainable solution for maintenance. With a door set offering a proven track record in security, residents no longer require their security gates. In Building B, the residential flat entrance door sets as well as the stairwell and lobby fire door sets perform correctly and assist firefighters to tackle the fire for the vital time required whilst keeping residents safe from smoke and fumes. As you have seen, the outcomes of the fire in Building A and Building B are drastically different. Building A, whilst identifying hazards and risks during its risk assessment, decided not to put measures in place and that has led to serious consequences. Building B, however, took measures to address identified risks. The surroundings and environment are improved by installing products to secure service rooms and equipment, while still enabling fire and rescue service access through the unique Gerda Master Key. Fire door sets were correctly specified and chosen for long-term consideration, where door set design reduces ongoing maintenance costs. In so doing, they have provided a high degree of containment to stop fire and smoke from spreading beyond the flat where the fire started and have allowed the fire service to locate and deal with the fire with minimum difficulty. These streets in the sky can provide safe communities for residents. 
Looking at the functioning of the building as a whole, addressing areas of restricted access, looking at what door set design can do to reduce maintenance costs, ensuring equipment and facilities used by firefighters are maintained, and providing facilities to allow the fire and rescue service to tackle an incident effectively, all this will give you a building ready to cope in an emergency and an improved living environment for your residents. Why not take a look at Gerda's product range and discuss sustainable solutions for your housing stock or ask how we can help you comply with fire safety legislation.